Hello. Um, today, all we're gonna do, we're gonna do just exercises for our feet and our ankles, and we might we might add some knees as well. Okay. So, what we're gonna do? I'm just gonna set the timer here. Uh, we're gonna start, guys. We're gonna start with our ankle rotations. So, it's not good for me. So, what I want you to do? I want you to lift your knee up. And I want you, we're gonna start on the outer side, okay? So I want you to go your with your foot outside and then in, outside and in, okay? So we're gonna do that for 30 seconds and then we're gonna change direction. So out and in. Now try to point your toes downwards and then point them up towards the ceiling. And then down and up towards the ceiling. Super. So six seconds more. Now when you do that, I want you to flex your foot, do it slowly. Now while you have that leg up as well, you will feel it in your thigh and you'll feel it in your hip as well. Last one. And now we're going to change direction. So you're going to go down, inwards, and then your toes are going up. That's super exercise. Um, I do that every day with my mom because my mom is 65 and she has a rheumatoid arthritis for a few years now and she finds this very challenging her balance isn't the greatest and she finds walking challenging so we're working on her feet and on her knees because she had two knees replacement as well okay so put the foot down and then we're going to do the other foot so lift your leg up slightly off the ground and we're going to go again we're going to go outwards first point your toes down that's it. So out, toes down, and in. Many times you see we walk, our feet are a bit sore, we walk in our shoes and the foot are getting a bit um, dysfunctional and we find it hard to walk. And then the balance, of course, is an issue as well. So that's it, and then we're gonna change direction. So this one, this time we're gonna go out and in. Make sure that ankle joint is really really working out and in toes down and up down and up you will feel your calf in this exercise as well just a few more seconds left i can feel my hip as well super and that's it you can put your foot down now the next exercise that we're going to do we're going to go from our toes to our heels okay now i'm gonna sit sideways to that and we're gonna do it for a minute as well so we can start on our heels and then we can go to our toes so try to lift the heels as much as you can okay so then point your toes towards the ceiling and then your heels off the ground and you will feel it in your calves and then you will feel it in the front of your legs as well. So up, heels up, and then heels down, and toes are going. And you can wiggle those toes while you have it. Heels up, and toes up. Heels up, and toes up. It's a bit windy today. Heels up. One toes up and we're gonna count to five. Five, four, three, two, and one. You will really feel it here. Okay, so the next one, what we're gonna do, guys, um, this one is for our toes and our calves and our knees and as well for our um, thighs. So, and we're gonna change the legs as well. We're gonna do it one minute on each leg. And I'm just going to show you first. So I don't want you to lift your uh, lift your tie. So even if you put your hands here, your hands shouldn't be uh, moving. All I want you to do, I want you to just bring that knee straight, bring those toes out, point the toes towards you. And then as you bring it down, I want you to just put your heel down and keep the toes off the ground. So let's go just for one minute. So point as much as you can because that works your ankle as well and all those ligaments and then down 
And again, you will feel it in the front of your leg and you'll feel it in the back and you will feel it in the thigh and you'll feel it in your hip. So while you add this, I try to really tense those muscles. And down. A few more times. I can feel when I'm trying to tense the muscles really, like I can feel my legs shaking. I don't know if you can see it, but my leg is a little shaking. down and point your toes towards the ceiling and again point your toes and then toes towards the ceiling toes point them and tense the muscles it's only half a second left half a minute left guys Now, this is going to be the last exercise, and that exercise is really not so much for, for your legs, it's more kind of for your hips and for your back. So all I will want you to do, I want you to move your hands down onto your shins, and move it down all the way, and I want you, while you exercise, I want you to bring your chin all the way down to your chest. So while, while you're coming down, it's going to be stretching nicely your spine and your hips, and I'm going to do it sideways. Again, okay, so chin down and bring your legs all, well, your hands all the way down. Stay here for a little while and you should feel the stretch in the back and then walk those hands up and chin up. And again, walk those hands down, chin down. And here when you're at the bottom, try to Exhale all the air. And then again, walk those hands up and chin up. Each nose. And again, chin all the way down. Look far between your legs. And if you can't go that low, that's fine as well. If you can only go that low, that's listen. That's better than nothing. And that is it, really. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna sit here for a minute and just breathe in, breathe out, and I will let you to do the same. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna move that camera facing the sea. That's it. Just for one minute, guys. Just sit quietly. Breathe in, breathe out.
again. Have a good day. Bye.